So you bought a double action polisher, something like this, Harbor Freight's dual action polisher, or something like this, a long throw polisher. And you want to use it with a smaller pad. These two machines come with six inches pad. And for some jobs, you need a smaller pad. What happens if you go too small, you have a balance issue. Some machines like this power built 21 millimeter throw uh, polisher specify that they can be used with either six inch pads or five inch pads. But guess what? From pad to pad, they keep the same weight. They keep the same balance. Let's see how that looks. Let's consider these two pads. This is the pad that came with my long throw polisher. And this is a pad that I bought for the same machine. This is a six inch, this is a five inch. So if we weigh this pad, four and a half ounces, and now we turn to the five inches pad, four and a half ounces. So we can see by this test that both pads have the same weight, keeping the same balance. So this is the pad that comes with my Harbor Freight dual action polisher. And I want to use this three inches pad with the same machine. But look what happens. Let's weigh this pad. Four and five eight ounces. Let's try this three inches pad from Lake Country. Two and a half ounces. So if we want to use a machine like this with a pad like this, meaning that we are going from a six inches pad to a three inches pad, we already saw there is a big gap in weight between the two pads. Therefore, we will have a problem. There's gonna be excessive vibration. That means that we have to do some changes or modifications to counteract that vibration. So what is it that we need to do? The problem is that this part here, which is a counterbalance, is designed per factory to work with the six inches pad. So we either need to buy a counterbalance that is designed for a three inches pad or we have to modify this counterbalance. We can either decrease the weight here or increase the weight of the pad or a combination of both. I have decided that to modify my machine to be able to use the three inches backing plate, I've been saying pad, but this in reality is a backing plate. Uh, I'm gonna do a combination of adding weight to the backing plate and taking some weight off the counterbalance. Now, how am I gonna add weight to my backing plate? Well, instead of this felt or washer that comes with it that is pretty much weightless, I am gonna be using two metal washers that instead instead of being weightless they weigh about three eighths of an ounce so i'm adding three eighths of an ounce to my three inches backing plate i am also going to take weight off the counterbalance weight however i am going to leave this one the one that came with the machine untouched for that purpose of taking weight off i pers purchased another counterbalance weight. This is Potter Cable Part 874011. I will leave a link in the description below so that you can check it out. And this counterbalance weight is designed for five inches backing plate. Therefore, this one is already a little bit lighter than the original counterbalance weight that came with the machine. I'm gonna still take some weight off by drilling a hole in the middle. Let's see how that looks. So guys, with lots of patience, I have been able to balance my dual action polisher to accept a three inches backing plate, avoiding excessive vibration and it was not easy it took time i drilled one hole small put everything back together in the machine 
turned it on, felt the vibration, took everything out, increased the hole, put it back inside, did the same test, took it out, and I ended up drilling four holes. One of one quarter of an inch and three of seven thirty seconds of an inch. With that, I feel like the machine is almost perfect. Very little to no vibration at all. Anyway guys, I hope this video help you in some way, shape or form. I'm going to leave links in the description below so that you can find most of the items that I'm using here today. Again, I will be seeing you on the next one. Thank you.